everyone. I believe in you. Absolutely. And I believe in your creativity. And I believe that you are able to get into your studio every single day in 2020 for 20 minutes. That's all you need to do to follow along with me. And I had a discussion with someone this morning on Facebook who said, Rebecca, I'm probably not going to be creating the same kind of art that you're creating, but I am going to tune in every day and devote my 20 minutes the same as you are. So that's a win. I consider that a win. So even if you've already done this kind of art before, you can do your own art with me for 20 minutes a day. You don't have to follow along, but kind of listen. Maybe listen to it more as a podcast in the background while you are doing your own kind of art. Because I will be giving a lot of tips and tricks and hacks and hints over this 366 days of 2020. So just stay with me and let's dig in. Today, I'm going to do one of my very, very favorite things to do and share with you. And I am going to paint some pages. That's, that's one of the things I love to start with in any kind of junk journal or altered book or any sort of book that I make that I make the insides you know, if it's a plain journal, I don't always do this. But anyway, altered books and junk journals, I definitely paint the pages a lot of times. So yesterday we talked about gesso and priming them well. And so um, we're going to take that primed page that we did yesterday and we are going to expand up on it a little bit. I'm going to be using folk art paints. Love, love, love those. You can find those anywhere at a lot of the craft stores and certainly a lot of even your just bigger big box stores. You can find those. So I want to show you one thing here. Um, if you look, I didn't, I didn't clip this down last night after I put the gesso on it and it curled. And that's okay. We're going to deal with that because as soon as we put this clip on there and let it sit for a while, it will be okay. But I have painted this page and I painted this that we made yesterday. And I just want to show you what I do. If I'm going to paint it and anything is wet or not totally dry, I save everything. And this is just kind of a, um, it was the paper off a sticker or sticker backings, I think. And so it is non-stick on both sides. So I will just put that in here with my pages and my clip and clip it down and, it, and the clip won't get stuck to your page. So that's a hint, that's a hack. And here um, I am gonna go ahead and paint this side somewhat like this side. And today I'm using a medium kind of yellow and an orange and a brown for this process. And the first thing I want to do is show you how to put the proper amount of water into your brush. When you're using acrylic paints, there needs to be water on your brush. Don't just open them, pour them out, and... Um, and start painting with a dry brush. So just put your brush in water. I'm gonna put it up close to the camera and hope you can see this. Lay your brush against a rag and see how the water goes away. I turn it over and it went from shiny to that's the right amount of water. I'm gonna do that one more time for you so you can see it. It's wet, see? Watch that water go away. Did you see that? It's very subtle. So hopefully you can see it. Maybe you didn't. And also when I'm painting, I usually keep a rag or even a baby wipe in my other hand just in case I make a mess or a boo-boo. So that's another hint or trick tip. So I've got the right amount of water in my brush here, and it really doesn't matter what kind of brush you use. Uh, this is about a one inch, and it is a, an angled brush, but you can use a flat or any kind of brush that you have. You could even use a sponge brush if that's all you have. 
And most of the times I like to go from lighter colors to darker. So I'm just going to come in here and just freely brush around some of my yellow. I'm going to leave some open places, some white places. Then I'm going to dip just the edges. I'm not going to clean my brush. There's still yellow in it. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to put some of that orange around. And it's okay if you get a place where you think you've got too much. You can wipe it back with that paper towel. Or if you've got brush marks that you don't like, you can dab at it with your paper towel. It'll stay wet mm, maybe 30, 40 seconds, depending on how how much paint you put on there. If you put a lot of paint on, it will, it will stay um, wet just a little bit longer. So I tend to make everything kind of watercolory in in Rebecca's world. I kind of like the look of watercolorish kind of paint. And so I'm going to go ahead right now cuz I think the water's gone. I'm going to go ahead and redip my brush and let that water go out. That there was a lot of water in there that time, so if I had just gone straight to my brown paint at that time, it would have been very very watery. And maybe sometimes that's what you want to do. So anyway, I'm going to get some brown. And I'm not, I'm not really even loading the brush properly at this time. And what I like to do with this brown is to rub it with my fingers or even your little baby wipe. Because I like it to settle down into the page. And I didn't do something here that I should have done. I should have put a protective page underneath this page. You go ahead and just any kind of old scrap page you have is good. So you, because you don't want you don't want to paint those other edges. See what I did there? I painted some edges. It's okay. I'm going to live with it. But just put something under there to to protect your other pages if you don't want this color to get on there. And I'm just kind of aging the edges. We aged some aged, aged some of our edges yesterday, I think it was, with some shoe polish, which is one of my favorite ways to do it. But if you don't have shoe polish, you can age the edges with brown paint. And I'm going to paint right down the middle of that page and kind of dab at it and soften it again because I really like I like the look when I soften it with my finger and let me let me raise that up and let you kind of see that I don't need that protective page anymore but you can kind of see this area right in here I love what it does in there by putting the brown paint on and softening it quickly 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 and again, I am just going to take one of those page protector things, protector things, <laughs> and clamp that down so it, it stays flat at this point in time.